Hey guys, Dave from DroneReviewsAndNews.com and if you saw our Instagram or social posts or our website post at DroneReviewsAndNews.com last week, you'll see that the Mavic 3 Classic is available as drone only. So if you have an existing DJI remote control, whether it's the RC, the RC Pro or the RCN1, you can just go ahead and buy the Mavic 3 Classic as it is, drone only. And today we're going to show you how to pair your existing DJI remote control to the Mavic 3 Classic. Let's go. Okay guys, so the first thing we're doing is we have powered on the DJI RC and we are going to go and click on our profile. And we're going to make sure that there isn't a... See, I'm not even logged in there. So that's our first problem. There we go, and we are logged in. So we're logged in on the DJI, DJI RC to our profile with DJI. We're going to click on settings. Then we're going to check for firmware updates. And it tells us that there's a new one. It's a keeper. 854 megabytes. So this could take a little while. A few moments later. And now the DJI RC has done its installation. And it's just about to restart itself. Yep, and there we go. We have the RC is restarting now. And we're at 99% firmware is installed. So we are good to go on the double click on the Mavic 3 Classic. Wait for the song. There we go. And let's just see if this automatically detects it or if we're going to have to go into the connection guide. Give it a second. And it's looking. So we'll go to connection guide. Mavic 3 Classic, Mavic 3, Air 2S. Here we go. And it immediately detected that the firmware version was inconsistent. And it's searching for the aircraft. Not detecting it. So hold the power button for four seconds. Wait for the beep. Then click the pair button on the RC. There we go, that took six seconds from the time it we selected pairing. And we definitely want to activate the DJI device. When we purchased the Mavic 3 Classic, we chose to add DJI Care Refresh at checkout, so that is bound electronically to the aircraft. We get DJI Care Refresh on pretty much everything we get. They're expensive devices, and most recently we had, did submit a claim for the Mini 3 Pro that we smashed into a tree. So there we go. We're going to activate DJI Care Refresh, and that's completed. Good stuff. So we are ready to fly. And we can see we've got the message. The aircraft is successfully bound with this device. You know what? It's not too terrible outside. We might take it for a fly. Anyway... So there you go. That's how you uh, connect the DJI Mavic 3 Classic to the DJI RC for the first time um, and do your activation. So make sure you remember your steps in the DJI RC. You want to make sure you're logged into your DJI profile. You want to connect it to Wi-Fi. You want to make sure that your firmware is updated. And then you're good to go to connect to the Mavic 3 Classic. Once you attempt to do that, chances are it's going to deny you when you first um, want to connect so you'll have to say unable to find aircraft or unable to connect to aircraft and you're going to press on the, the power button on the back of the Mavic 3 Classic for about four seconds until it beeps and then click the pairing button on the DJI RC. It's going to walk you through, give you the option to activate the aircraft which you want to do, then it's going to give the option to bind the DJI Care Refresh if you purchased it to the aircraft as well. Once you do all those steps you're good to go. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hit us up with any questions you have down in the comments below. Give us some feedback. And if you have any uh, suggestions on future videos that we can do on the Mavic 3 Classic, by all means, drop them down there as well. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And visit us over at DroneReviewsAndNews.com where we have the latest breaking drone news, rumors, tips, and how-tos. So thanks for being a part of the community, guys. See you soon.